Hey yo, this is Sean Paul, the girls are moving around and dancing and flossing, you don't know. What I'm saying? Football is football. We done free that the maker. And said the sun to us. This side of the equator. Charlie Brown. And I said the world where no stop was Jamaica. Level Palmer, Jamaica International, and I'm a footballer. Over Cummins, Jamaica International, and I am a footballer. Food, fashion, and music. How we run it? How we run it? Always, always good for you to come back in our group. Um, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, funny. I've messed with you every time we come in. You know, Lovell, I'm not trying to beat me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not excuse you to and uh, show some of the world today, you know? No, we're not better than you. I'm not afraid to talk to you. No, we're not better than 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 you. No, you. No, we're not better than you. No, we're not better than you. No, we're not better than you. No, we Good performance and a good showing in Kingston. Well, we're a proud country, you know, and uh, our fans in Jamaica just want to see victories, and that's all we want. Especially, both set the bar so I know. Yeah. So we've got to live up. And the rivalry between Jamaica and US is so huge right now because of the Olympics, and the next qualifying game is against US. So we just gotta do some stuff that we need to do against the US in this game. Mm -hmm. Get ready for that. It's not as if I'm surprised, you know, because um, everyone in Jamaica, or even the world, you know, know of his talent, you know, and he, he said it day in, day out that he thinks he can go faster, mm -hmm. you know, so whenever time he do it, you know, it's like, yo, all right, and cool, you know, he told us, and hence he's doing it right now, so, I mean, it's just a great feeling, you know, and especially being in America with a big rivalry, yes. <laughs> you know, so um, that's probably one of the biggest things for me to go to the locker room these days and boast about, you know, or ask the guys, you know, did you see the um, 200 meter finals or the 100 meter, the 4 by one you know? I mean, he set the bar so high, so, I mean, we're just um, reaping his, his reward and hopefully we can even try and um, get to his level with our national team or even, you know, higher. How we run it? How we run it? Hey, with that sports are academics. How we run it? How we run it? Hey, with that dancing, not just a grooving. How we run it? I mean, hopefully, I mean, that's just like a um, couple years back, you know, so I was pretty young back then, you know, but hopefully this time we can rewrite the history books, and I mean, we see like both doing it at the Olympics, they're just going to get in there, and you know, they can do it together, you know, so for example, if the record boys um, qualify for the record, which we're planning to do, and that's what we're going to do, you know, I mean, the idea of country is going to come here, and that's, that's going to be a great support going to 2014 in Brazil and um, me and those guys just gotta put in a work and stay focused and hopefully get it. How we them free that Jamaica? Huh. And said the sun to us, this side of the equator. I think it, I think it, um, in Kingston and I think it's a pretty hostile environment and I mean, I think <laughs> when, whenever any oh, overseas based team come there and I mean, they are a bit worried, I mean, the fans are crazy and I mean, which we use to our advantage because and that's our own country and I mean, Definitely. I mean, I think that's the thing in my run really, you know, once you're playing away, you know, you're a little bit scared and a little, little bit tentative, but I mean, in Kingston it's pretty hostile and you know, so I mean, trust me. The American guy is going to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> just just to add to that, uh, I talked to Jeff Agus and those guys, Clint Mantis. They say whenever they come to Jamaica, by the time they enter the stadium, they get high. Hi. <laughs> that works out. Only one people. Hey, where that food, fashion, and music? How we run it? How we run it? Hey, where that sports are academic? Especially for me because I've been through like. <laughs> Five coaches since I got here, different style of play. Being with Hispanic coach, Bruce Arena, now I'm with Rennie and Hans Bakke. So I learn a lot and each year I try to improve. I try to show some of the young players that come in the league. I try to, whenever they call me, talk to me, I try to tell them the different things to look forward to and what to expect. So definitely helped me a lot and so a totally different game at international level but it helped me to get prepared for that also. And I think Terminus is a very good avenue for Jamaican players coming into you know, a professional environment. Uh, I think uh, being close to home, even, even to Jamaica, yeah. you know, that allows for even the national team coaches to even come out, take a look at players uh, and be 
you know, just a closer link, you know, where Europe is so far, even if you're playing in Asia. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it bring closer to home and Jamaica, you know, US in you know, whole have a, a big Jamaican community. Definitely. You know, in a lot of places. So, you know, just, just being in Instagram, being closer to home, I think it's really good. Born leader, we are no follower. We stand out in any crowd, so don't have no doubt. Jamaica comes in a dick area. So, just being very professional about what you do. You know, come in and you, you work hard and show what you can do. Don't be late. <laughs> don't, don't be late. <laughs> yeah, and, and that goes along with being professional too, you know. But, you know, we know Jamaican players and Jamaican players tend to be very talented, hardworking. You know, so once you, you bring that professionalism to your, to your team, uh, I think then you can be at the next level. It's as easy as this. Um, check any Jamaican players who have been to the league, you know, and just apply themselves professionally. You know, mm -hmm. they're here for a long while, you know, and they prove it. You know, Tyrone, Tyrone. Tyrone. you know, Uli Harris, they mm -hmm. came here, they did great things, you know, because they just apply themselves and they did what they came here for, you know, and it's to work and work as best as they can. Do you find uh, family and friends back home follow the MLS now that you're playing in there? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There is so much Jamaican here. Yeah, no, so good. Not not yeah. only but the MLS itself has grown as better for the football being played. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stadiums, you know, no commercials during games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's big. one thing in the last couple of years that the league has, you know, went from strength to strength, strength to strength. Definitely. And I think you know you see players from overseas coming. Yeah, one we have become. You know, you have a lot of international players that come in looking to MLS now. Not only like a retirement yes. league or. Yeah. You know, just come to chill, but you have to come in and work. So they know that common players of common field, you know, big big players of common field feel like it's gonna be something easy. But I mean, this is a hard working league. It's a it's a league that's growing and get harder every year. Yeah. So if you take it lightly, <laughs> you'll lose. Speed kills. That's all I say. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed, guaranteed speed. Guaranteed speed. Uh, guaranteed aggression. Guaranteed wanting to play the ball and not, not, not going to be the, the team to lump the ball and, and hope for the best. You know, so we try to bring the best of everything to, to the game where speed, technical ability, and, and strength and, and aggression. Yeah, in the Gold Cup, I remember we played at Red Bull Arena. Mm -hmm. And Henri came to the game, and when I got back, he was like, the way you guys play, if you could have some Bob Marley in the background, <laughs> <laughs> you guys win the World Cup. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs>